That's it. That was good. How'd that feel? Commit to the ball. Commit and move through it. All right, so in this drill, we're gonna use these little Nerf balls because they float and I can get them to spin. The reason why we're doing this is so that you forces your eyes to stay on the ball. You have to do it, okay? And what we'll do is we'll go from this spinning ball to just a straight uh, lacrosse ball and you'll see how much easier it is. Uh, but the idea is we wanna wait as long as we can and then react, okay? Release point, contact point. Wait on it. Whew. So the brain goes into this activated mode. It says, here it comes, so I gotta move, right? And so you just move. And it makes sense because we're in that fight or flight state, right? So now it just says, go down, rather than actually watching it. I'm not shooting particularly hard, but our eyes get into this pace, like I have to do it right away. Okay, this slows your brain down, actually. See that? That was much better. Stay, stay longer. Wait and then go. That's it. Look how easy it is when you stay, right? Yes. Yeah, good. So here's how, actually, when you play your best, you stay totally still. So I want you to wait as long as you can and then make the save. That's it. That's so much more smooth. Can you guys see that? Right? Isn't that cool? That's it. So you see how fluid that is? Nice. Oh, that's nice. So, so can't you see right now how better your timing is? Exactly. There you go. Yeah, sitting on it is a good way to, a good expression. That was moving. Yeah. I haven't given you the big curve yet. That's nice. So you can imagine if you can start to train your eye to really watch it all the way, those shots from Miles Jones on a daily basis isn't so bad, at least you can track it. 